what we're interested in is what cells do when you lower the amount of oxygen. And we're interested in the basic switch that they use to tell how much oxygen's there. And that switch actually operates extremely quickly. And what we found was that if we had cells in an incubator and we took them out, then during the time that you're breaking the cells up and extracting the proteins, they've already made the change to the proteins because it all happened so quickly. And what this kind of uh, apparatus enabled us to do was to open up the cells and extract the proteins without changing the oxygen at all so that we could see the switch before it had been changed by the oxygen. That was very important for us. The other main use of, of this is that we can put cells in here for a long time so that they're at a really stable level of oxygen. Otherwise, they're changing each time they, they come out of the chamber when you're, say, splitting them up. We think that's likely to be important when cells are deciding whether to differentiate or not, for example. So we're interested in differentiation in bone, and we've got a collaborator who's looking at that. And we think that's particularly well studied in a situation where we don't have to change things at all. First of all, it gives us the ability to do two different things at once. So for some of the biochemistry, we only need the ability to have no oxygen there at all, and that's a simpler chamber. And by having the two together, we can have two chambers for a bit more than the price of one. The other thing that this is particularly well suited to is we may want to have the cells at a low oxygen tension, but some oxygen there, and then once we break the cells open, to have them in no oxygen. And using this, we can move them from a low oxygen environment where they can grow and things are controlled to a different environment where there's no oxygen at all as we break the cells open and extract the proteins.